Just shooting a quick little video project turbo LS talking about steam lines today on the LS engine uh, Basically all LS engines have steam lines going Basically through from cylinder head to cylinder head and then through the throttle body uh, What that does is it improves cold weather drivability But us performance guys and LS swap guys. We don't really need that. So we're just gonna get rid of that and the best way to do that is basically drill a hole into the, into the top of the water pump and then uh, put a 1 8 NPT fitting there and then just take that line that usually goes through the throttle body and just, just plumb it into that, uh, that fitting. So I'll go through the procedure and show you exactly how to do that right now. Project Turbo LS in the background as you can see. So this is my uh, 6 liter truck engine, 2002 Chevy Gen 3 LS just like I have in the garage. This is all factory. So I uh, wanted to show you guys the steam line that goes through the throttle body. It's just for cold weather drivability. You can see here the hose that comes off the throttle body. And basically what happens is it goes into the radiator. I was just pulling this so you can see it. It goes into the radiator right there. So us performance guys and turbocharged LS and swaps and all that stuff, we don't even need that anymore because we don't drive our cars in cold weather. So I'm just going to show you what we're going to do. We're just going to tap and dr uh, drill a hole into the top of the water pump, which is about the same level of height where the steam line goes into the radiator. Or it might be a little bit higher, which is even better. Yeah, actually it's a little bit higher, but that's even better. And uh, again, the steam lines for the LS, we're going to take that hose and just, just plumb it into the top of the water pump. That way we eliminate, you know, the steam line, all that bullshit. So uh, it makes for a nice neat installation. So again, this is the one in my truck and uh, I'll show you in the, uh, in the garage what we're gonna do there to clean it all up. So we're in the garage here, Project Turbo LS, doing a little video on the LS steam lines. And this is our six liter we're using for Project Turbo LS. And uh, as you can see here, here's the steam line that goes from from head to head, basically from that head over there to this one over here. And basically what it does is it feeds into our throttle body, goes into here, comes out of there, and then goes to our radiator as I showed you in a previous scene on the truck outside. So what we're doing is we're, we're eliminating that because we don't really need a, uh, a warm throttle body anymore. So we're just gonna basically take the line from here and we're just gonna drill and tap for a 1 8 NPT fitting into the top of the water pump right here and then uh, hook the line up to that and it makes for a nice clean insulation and we don't have to worry about hooking up to the radiator anyways I'll show you that in the next scene uh, which drill we're going to use so basically guys uh, the drill we're going to use for our 8th inch NPT fitting uh, it says use a Q or a 21 64 inch drill which comes out to 0.328 so we can actually use a 5 uh, 516 switch which is 0.3125 so it's about uh, 13 thou smaller than the 0.328 but I happened to find this one it's not a Q I just found it in my pile measured it and it measured out to uh, 0.332 so it's about 4 thou 4 to 5 thou bigger than the 0.328 that we need so we're going to use that drill and drill into the front of the water pump and then we can put our fitting in hey guys so we got our Drill the little spot here. This is where I'm going to drill into the front of the water pump here. So I'm using an eighth inch drill first for a pilot, and then we're going to go to the three, the point three three two drill. Okay, so we got a hole drill, drill, so 
Next step, we got the top. This is where I went a little lower, but uh, it's not too bad. Don't worry about the tips in your coolant, so it's not going to hurt anything. Alright, so that's good. So we got a drill. And again, guys, I suggest going lower than I did. So I'm actually into the casting wall here a little bit. So you probably want to go to the, the middle or a little bit lower. Okay, guys, so uh, I didn't shoot it, but I basically put a little chamfer to uh, make starting this tap a little easier, as you guys can see here on the drill. So it's, I think it's a, a 60 degree chamfer bit. So that just makes starting the tap a little bit easier. So it's not perfectly straight, but not a big deal or perpendicular. So we got to start it. Let's do some WD-40 on here. So hopefully you guys can see this. And I removed the tensioner just to just to make it easier to get in here. So we'll see how far we can go before it uh, digs into the wall over at the back there. Again, 1 8 NPT and the 2164 drill bit or 328 valve. I used a 333 because I had it. It's close enough. Hopefully you guys can see this. So, again, this is just to uh, get rid of that steam line that goes through the throttle body. So, we'll just tap, in, tap into here with the line. Makes for everything uh, nice and clean. Don't have to worry about the steam line to the radiator. Probably easier to do this if you take this whole thing off. But uh, since we had the engine off, I didn't feel like taking the water pump off. So we'll see how this goes. So I'm almost there. That's pretty much it, guys. Okay. So let's pull this out. I'll probably have to cut this seam a little bit, but we'll see. Pretty simple procedure. And again, guys, aim for getting in the middle of here because I'm running into the wall of this casting. Just a little bit on the corner. So don't do what I did. Start the hole right in the middle. Yeah, thread look pretty good, we'll see. So let's get my thread paste. That looks good. Actually, before I get the thread paste, I'll give you guys a close up of this. Try doing one shot here. Not focus? Fuck, I don't know if it'll focus. So anyways, that's the threads. So I'll just do a quick little test here. See if this actually goes in. Yep. Yeah, it does fit, guys. So that's pretty good. See? So then basically, this line will get a longer piece of rubber right here. We'll go to here. Sorry about the fingers. So anyways, I'll get my thread sealant on there and I'll, I'll shoot another scene here. Hey guys, so this uh, got our fitting to start it there. 
So I'll put a little bit of sealant on there, just so there's no leaks. Hopefully you can see this. Clean this off with a towel after you thread it in there. This is Permatex thread sealant. Okay. So now we'll try to thread this guy in here. Probably got a bigger wrench. Hang on, let me just get my big wrench. Okay. And again, you don't want to go too far on this. Probably go one more revolution after this. We'll go one. We'll go one more. That's it. basically just bias it towards the line we have a nice clean install so we want to go from here to here and that's it all right guys it looks pretty good just clean this off a little bit So now we just got to find a line that goes from here to here. I'll try to find one right now. Hang on. I'll probably cut, I'll cut the seam so you guys don't have to wait for me looking for the damn thing. Okay, guys. So you're still watching, hopefully. So we're going to go from here. Oh, we'll do like this. This is just a piece of hose I had for my old, my 302 that I pulled out of Project Turbo LS. So we're gonna go. This is a barbed fitting, so yeah, it's pretty loose. So we'll we'll uh, we'll put a clamp on there anyways. So we'll see. Just do it like this. This way. Yeah, we're gonna have to put a clamp on here because it's not that tight. It's probably the wrong size hose. But uh, yeah, we'll just go like this. Like that. So there we go. Okay. So there we go guys, uh, steam line fitting figured out, top of the water pump here, again 8 inch NPT tap, use a 2164 drill bit, and again drill it more in the middle, I would suggest drilling it more right in the middle so then you don't cut into the casting wall of the uh, the vertical section here, which I did a little bit, so but I still got good access, so it'll be fine, and again a couple small 
post clamps, one here and one here. Don't use these things because they're not reliable and it should be good. Okay guys, so I removed, removed the intake manifold and we can see what the uh, finished installation looks like here. So yeah, so there's our little line and we got a clamp on there so it won't come off. Go into the steam line. Right there. And of course, our fitting. I know that's a clamp that's too big, but that's what I had. So nice clean installation. So we eliminate the need to go through the throttle body and into the radiator. So uh, us performance guys, we don't really need that stuff. So there you go guys. Uh, Nice and clean, nice and neat. And again, try to drill that hole for that uh, tap right in the middle of that, uh, that flat there on the water pump. All right guys, so that concludes the video on uh, modifying that steam line or just making it go to the top of the water pump instead of uh, through the throttle body which we just did, as you can see in the background there. So anyways, that's another little thing uh, before we drop the engine in, because it's a lot easier to do when the engine's out of the, out of the car versus when it's in the car. So uh, hopefully uh, this helps some guys, some LS guys out or LS swap guys, uh, just to uh, take care of that steam line system that's uh, in all LS engines. So there goes another video, guys. Uh, we're getting close to uh, fitting the engine in Project Turbo LS. Uh, and again, I'll do another quick video, well, a number of videos, showing all that when you get that whole thing in there and all that kind of thing. Anyways, you guys, uh, thanks for watching. I guess I'm supposed to say, don't forget to like and subscribe. Not really my style, but just in case you do like it. Uh, I appreciate it. Thanks again. Bye.